In this video, we will learn how to classify parallelograms more specifically. Remember that a parallelogram is a quadrilateral, so it has four sides, and it has two pairs of parallel sides. So this is the basic look of a parallelogram. Now there are three special types of parallelograms, and they are rectangles, rhombuses, and squares. All three of these shapes are parallelograms, but they have extra properties that make them special as well. A rectangle is a parallelogram that has four right angles. So it has all the same properties of a parallelogram, but it also happens to have four right angles. Because it has four right angles, it means that its diagonals will end up having to be perfectly congruent. So in other words, this length will have to be the same as this length. So about rectangles, you should remember, four right angles, that's the real definition, but also rectangles will always have congruent diagonals. So if you can show that a parallelogram has congruent diagonals, it must actually be a rectangle as well. Now a rhombus is a parallelogram that has four congruent sides. So it still has opposite sides parallel, it's just that all four sides are congruent. This leads to a couple of special properties of rhombuses. One property is that their diagonals will be perpendicular. So that means the diagonals meet at a right angle. And remember the symbol for perpendicular is like an upside down T. Another thing that's interesting about the diagonals of a rhombus is that they will always bisect their angles. So that means this angle will be congruent to this angle, and this angle, and this angle. And similarly, all four of these angles will also be congruent. So those diagonals cut the angles in half. Now the last special type of parallelogram is called a square. And I'm sure you've been hearing about squares for a long time. A square has four right angles, just like a rectangle, and it also has four congruent sides, like a rhombus. So it's basically a combination of both rectangles and rhombuses. So it will have all of these properties, four right angles, congruent diagonals, four congruent sides, diagonals are perpendicular, also the diagonals bisect the angles. All of those things will apply to the square because it's a combination of both a rectangle with the four right angles and a rhombus with the four congruent sides. So anytime you see a shape that looks to be a parallelogram, make sure you check to see if it has any of these additional properties so that you could call it a more specific name like rectangle, rhombus, or square.